here we are on line uh, 15 and we're here for just one reason and that's to go to Wujonglu this station here because it's one of these quite fancy stations on the Shanghai Metro network that I haven't been to before and I've been really lucky there okay. So there's a reason to come to Wujonglu and this is it. It's one of these very stylish stations that they have put here on the Shanghai Metro. There's some others that are quite stylish as well. So there's, uh, let's see, Yu Gardens or Yu Yuan Gardens. And what's the other stylish one? Lu Jad's Way has got a large LED screen in it. And there's several others as well, but this is always one that uh, makes it onto the, the photos of how clean and modern the Shanghai Metro is. And you can see why. My first time here, like I said. There's the main concourse for the station. They've got these kind of futuristic numbers here as well. Ha! Huh, they've got something here also. I think it's some old, yes, some old tickets. 2005, 1999. And they've got various different styles you can see. Over on this side, it seems to be a little bit of a who's who. There was the tickets, and then there's a little bit of uh, various bits of old equipment. That looks like the Pujang line to me, I'm pretty confident. And then they've got some old laptop and an intercom system and other bits of old equipment there. Then there's this model here, which looks like a, I'd say, a tunnel boring machine yes yes there we go there's the front yep. and then some other bits looks like suspension and some railway track there just a little display but uh, interesting to see I didn't know that was here there is actually a Metro Museum which I haven't been to for probably about seven or eight years it didn't used to be linked to an actual Metro station it was kind of in the middle of nowhere I wonder whether that's moved or a station has been built uh, near it, you know, recently. So maybe that's actually on the network. I'll find out. I wanted to uh, come outside, it made sense. So hopefully you can see that. Yes, there's a Wujong Lu. There's a park here, I think. But if we can look beyond those pylons. It's not exactly in the middle of uh, the city. Here's a little bit of that park. There you go, got a bit of fishing going on here. Some solar panels in the middle of a pond. A bit of bright sunshine today, so the park behind me there and it intersects with this waterway here and that happens quite a lot in Shanghai. You know, Shanghai literally meaning the, the top water town. It's all a bit boggy and, and wet around here. Okay, let's go back to the metro station. So that's entrance two. I was doing a little bit about accessibility in my last video. So let's just go and have a quick look at exit four, see how the access is here, because this is line 15 and therefore a lot younger and it should be fine. So here we are, entrance four of Wujonglu. As usual, they've got the slightly strange steps there, but we do have a ramp bringing us up to the elevator. So that's from street level, straight in. Bang, there we go. It's a little bit Death Star-like, I would say. And quite empty. Oh, there's a coffee shop at this end, back into the station. And the usual. So it 
it may just look like a normal cityscape but in fact we do have Shanghai here so we've got the Pearl Tower, the Shanghai World Financial Center, the Jin Mao and the Shanghai Tower, currently the second tallest building in the world. It makes me wonder whether there are some others hidden. That looks a little bit like the Westin Hotel. Not sure about the others though. But it's interesting that they've added at least a little bit of detail to that. I didn't spot it the first time when I was first here. Okay, let's get out of here. Down here on the platform level, there's nothing really to tell you that that's upstairs at the, uh, the mid-level. You know, I usually like to do a little bit of map time. I'll show you where Wu Zhonglu is. It is here on line 15, okay, which is easily accessible from lines 9 there and 2 to get in from the city, okay? And I was a bit wrong. There's some detailing in the ceiling here. just checking the gap which I noticed them doing earlier and this is a driverless train we're at the back rather than the front there we have the tunnel Uh, Wu Zhonglu station is on a little bit of a curve and I think that might be why they were checking the uh, platformed train distances because it's a little bit wider on a curved platform of course. This is uh, Guilin Road which dare I say it is a relatively normal station after things like uh, Wu Zhonglu and sorry to spin you around so much we'll go off over here to line 9 which is actually a fair distance but there's a few details in this uh, intersection so here they have this kind of stars and astronomy motif here so like the moon but with some boot marks some tracks there and a few extra bits and pieces nothing too special but I guess better than nothing And then into the line nine part, a little bit darker here. And it's a split platform, so you need to know which way you're going. And I know I'm off to Taolu. That is me leaving. So that was uh, quite a specific look at line 15 Wu Zhonglu station. A little bit of history inside and the park outside and then a bit of a follow-on onto line 9. I hope you uh, enjoyed a much shorter video this time. I'll try and edit it down and consider liking and subscribing. Bye-bye.